Hi, this is Ed with another tip for Autodesk Eagle. Today we're going to be covering about how to build libraries based on components that already exist in the current Eagle libraries. From the Eagle control panel, I'm going to go ahead and build a brand new library. So click on File, New Library. I'm going to put it off to the side here. I'm going to return to the control panel. I'm going to expand the library tree. From the library tree, I'll go ahead and navigate over to the connector library, very common library to be used. The connector library is actually all the libraries usually are divided in three sections. First section is the device, which contains the schematic symbol, as well as the package and the relationship between pins and pads. Let's say I wanted to use this device in a library that I'm making. I could click and hold and drag it into the library off to the side. That automatically puts me in the device editor mode within the library that I'm creating. But not always you need the entire device. Sometimes you may only need the package. If you keep on scrolling down on that same library, you'll notice that you have the subdivisions for package as well as symbol. I'm going to go ahead and expand the package. On the library that I have off to the side, I'm going to go ahead and go return to my content menu. You don't have to. He's doing it this way. It makes it easier for visualization. I'm going to highlight one of the packages that I have here. I'm going to click and drag into my library. It's going to automatically bring it over and put it in editor mode as well because it expects me to edit it if necessary. The exact same procedures used for symbols. I see my list of symbols. I could highlight the symbol that I'm requesting. I could click and hold and drag it into my library and it brings it in. If I go back to my content menu, you'll notice that all of the footprints, symbols and devices that I've been dragging in here are now available in this library. But let's say you're working directly in the library and from within the library, you like to get a package, a symbol that exists in a different library. Pretty easy. You will notice that on the bar menu on the bottom, you have add device, package, and symbol. Just go ahead and click on, in this example, add package. Now, add package, you could create a brand new package if you're just going to create a brand new footprint. But in this case, we're just taking advantage of the existing libraries. I'm going to go ahead and select import, and this is going to give me the option to select from the existing libraries a footprint. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go back to the connector library here for some DC jack for uh, DC power jacks and I am just going to grab this footprint and bring it into my own library of course it's going to open it up again in editor mode if I go to the content library now that package the exact same procedure can be done for symbols as well as devices so this makes it a lot easier for you to be able to create components in the library editor based on existing components. I hope this helps out. Have a great day.